Tonight, residents in Draper neighborhood hoping to get some answers after two homes were destroyed in a landslide. We now know two other homes have now been condemned. You're looking at that video as the homes collapsed early Saturday morning. Looks like it came out of a movie, but this is real life. It comes due to sliding and breaks in the home's foundations. We want to take a look now exactly where those homes are located. You can see on this map, they're in the Suncrest neighborhood. Draper City officials previously deemed several housing units in the same area unlivable due to the soil conditions. Well, now let's take a look at some new drone video. This is from today showing the aftermath in the daylight here. Debris from one of the homes slid into a trail that was below which has now been closed over safety concerns. Draper City officials now saying that they've been in contact with the developer for months on engineering studies about the stability of that particular area. We have team coverage for you tonight from Draper. Ariel Harrison is at a community meeting where residents right now trying to get some answers from the developers. We want to start, though, with Lincoln Graves, who's live in the Suncrest neighborhood tonight, where the developer is responding to this disaster. And Lincoln, what is the company saying? Well, we had, uh, we had hoped to speak with them on camera, Heidi, because we have a lot of questions for them. But instead, they released a pretty long statement in which they said they're frankly just not sure how this happened. And they say they are taking care of affected homeowners. After two homes collapsed in a landslide and two more were condemned, Draper City officials are trying to determine if more damage is on the way. We've been in many of the homes. We've been in their yards. We are monitoring for cracks, um, sliding, that kind of thing. We haven't seen any additional homes impacted by that yet. Draper City Manager David Dobbin says the city is taking the lead, but that ultimate responsibility lies with Edge Homes. How does something like this happen? That's, that's the question that we're asking Edge's consultants. We also had those questions for Edge Homes, asking what went wrong, why they initially opposed revoking certificates of occupancy, and how they're helping homeowners. In a long statement late this afternoon, Edge Homes said in response to what happened, we simply cannot answer these questions today. More analysis and data are necessary, but we are committed to finding the underlying cause. As to Draper revoking certificates of occupancy, Edge said, we initially disagreed with that decision, but that it eventually became evident that evacuation of the homeowners was the correct decision. The company also says it is compensating affected homeowners and that regardless of who is at fault, it's our company policy to stand by our homeowners and not leave them stranded. Now that statement from Edge Homes is pretty long and detailed. We have posted it uh, in its entirety at KUTV.com so you can read it for yourself. Still unclear though how affected homeowners feel about that statement and the claims Edge is making. Live in Draper, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News. So many questions remain. Lincoln, thank you.